Welcome to all you bush carvers and spoon crafters out there. This is Max from Woodsman's Finest. Welcome to another video on my channel. This is supposed to be a teaser and somewhat of a demonstration um, for what you're gonna learn if you're attending one of my courses. I'm gonna be up for a bigger tour in Sweden where the dates are not confirmed yet. But if you're following me on social media, especially Instagram and Facebook, there's gonna be announcements for all of the dates and the locations coming up. So when I teach a workshop, it's extremely important for me that people are taking enough fundamentals and principles away that they can actually do something and change something about it for themselves. It's very important for me not to just um, teach techniques. This is exactly how I've been teaching martial arts for over 10 years now. From capoeira all the way to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and in Japan, um, swordsmanship of course, it was always important and I learned it from the best out there that principles and fun fundamentals are more important than specific techniques because it allows the student afterwards by understanding the very basics to basically make up their own techniques when need be. That's very important for me. So today I just want to give you a demonstration of a lot of different maxisms and I don't actually want to call it maxism because it just doesn't sound very good. But there's a lot of um, terms I came up with over the years just to make things a little bit more specific. I'm a very big um, proponent of um, different terms and different keywords that are just going to spark something in your brain. So. Um, the most important method that I have um, defined for myself is of course the triple C method of spoon carving. I've successfully taught that to a lot of students actually around the world from Japan all the way to Canada. Um, this is also going to be of course the main structure that we're going to build all of these courses around. The other very important smaller increments of this bigger method are the power carving. Um, we have the, the body vices and of course um, there is a whole lot of pinky stuff going on. Um, yeah, I need a better term for that. It's just... In any case, um, today I'm just attempting, or like a, a, today I'm just going at carving a spoon as fast as I can with a reasonable outcome. Um, what I'm seeing sometimes done where people are just talking about speed and everything, speed is really not standing in any relation to quality and I'm doing that when I'm producing my tools when I'm in general working with brands about tools and other things it is never important to speed things up to a degree where the quality starts to de decline so it is important for me to make a symmetric beautiful even faded spoon in as little time as possible I don't want to have any differences in symmetry I don't want to have any rims that are fading wider or smaller I want things to be even and working and I'm trying to achieve that by going through all of the different fundamentals and um, methods that I'm teaching in my seminar so stay tuned for those coming out and um, just follow me on Instagram and um, Facebook Woodsman's Finest if you're interested in seeing more plus please subscribe to the channel and leave a like for most people watching and consuming these free content videos, it's not it's not very obvious, but YouTube is actually pitching these kind of videos to people based on how many are actually pressing the like button. And I made it a point by now as a long time YouTube user, if I forget to actually leave a like in a video, I sometimes hop several videos back actually just if I consumed it, if I used it, if it brought anything to me, I'm just using the split second to put a thumbs up in there. But without further ado, let's just get to this. All of the tools used in this video are tools that I'm using every day. This is nothing here is some fake or anything. It's gonna be my own Wayfarer Axe. It's gonna be the Big Boy by Silky, in my opinion. The best all around um, Japanese pull saw, maybe the best saw in general when it comes to greenwood carving, pruning, taking them on canoe trips, on hunting trips, on hiking, whatever you want to do. This saw is so easy, so small, so light, and it does so much for me, and it's always with me, wherever I am. And other than that, I'm gonna be using my Grizzly, of course, by um, Greenhaven Forge. Um, Josh was so nice to send me this, and it's been um, a huge delight to work with. I'm a big proponent of using big knives in order to learn how to small one, use small ones. Um, and of course, it's gonna be the prototypes of our different Svarojic hooks. That's my collaboration with the um, Ukrainian forge 
is making all of my axes. So what you're seeing here is either already available or is coming out very, very shortly. make the simple spoon here. I'm trying to make a spoon that I really enjoy. Getting a little bit of difficulty here. Alrighty.
folks. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you're interested in how to carve a spoon like this with my methods for efficiency and symmetry, and ultimately having a really good time, then check it out. Check out my my Instagram, Woodsman's Finest, please, down in all the links below, and um, check for the course dates coming up. So I invested about another 30 minutes or something into chip carving and, of course, doing the carbonizing on this. But other than that, this is exactly the same spoon after drying and carbonizing, so... really love how it turned out. This is of course also part of courses talking about decoration, about possibilities for decoration and different finishing methods. So this is not necessarily part of the carving. It's more like a decoration and finishing step that I really don't do in all the different spoons, but love how it turned out.